What's everybody, Moon here, bringing you today's video, or aka my original name, some Milk Magic. And I wanted to discuss um, a game that I favored a lot, that I've made streams on. A game I really just simply admire. And that is this. That is Zombie Army 4. And the reason I'm making this video today is to discuss that my, my rising concern of what I feel like the game is... It's not setting the proper tone that it should really have. Um, and of course, this is all subjective. This is all just my opinion. And this is all stuff that I see within the game. I see what they're just trying to go for, and I see uh, what they're accomplishing so far. But honestly, I feel like this game could have a lot more potential if they took in a different route or even do some other tweaks and uh, fixes within the game. And we're having adding another layer another algorithm of gameplay like I'm talking about so, they, so let's talk about the campaign alright I know this is the horde I uh, know this is the horde but in the campaign we see us just you know blasting zombies through our path from point A to point B to point C to point D whatever it's always one point to another and we're just killing them and that's totally fun I mean it, we've seen games like these that are perfect it's like left for dead this is a game that's always been said to have that common thing uh, that th th this, this common um, resemblance from other games this one resembles Left 4 Dead a lot even though this isn't a first person it, anyone can't even argue I mean we, we, we see that little Left 4 Dead vibe that you get in here by the music the, the gameplay the zombie types and etc etc and what I would like them to add which what I feel like that would really help the game out is maybe had the flexibility of uh, setting us through random drop points within the campaign. So we have these complaints that are, are very linear, right? So I'm talking about maybe they do something that can expand these. I'm not talking about like a horde version. I'm talking about in the in the campaign that make it more entertaining to get people to play the campaign more. I feel like they should be dropping us at different places because working as a team is one thing, but I would like to see us split apart and then try to reach each other one by one. I know it sounds weird, but it, that's just kind of my take on the campaign. The campaign doesn't have too much to really that's too much to fix. It's more like the horror that I feel like has a writing concern on my part. That like, grabs my attention. I feel like they really should do more. The campaign is pretty solid. Uh, it's just, it's just what I said. You know, there's not much to say about the campaign. I mean, it's, it's okay. I mean, uh, how really can you make an awesome story? <laughs> you know, based off zombies. But despite that, it's actually quite fun, and I actually really do enjoy it. Um, it just sucks we don't see a lot of people really going out there and playing it. Um, I do like the weekly events that they try to do to make people play the campaign together and play a whole section. That's really awesome, and I do agree on that point. Um, and I feel like the gun, the guns that we have in the game, we need more. Okay, and we don't need DLC guns. That's the problem with this is DLCs, because we have an old, we have a sixty dollar game, or if you get on sale, probably forty, thirty, whatever. And we have DLCs. We have season passes to grab extra guns and grab extra characters. I, I don't like that. We should rip that apart, and they should focus more on customizations, and so everybody can have fun uh, being their own character, looking different, and really trying every gun. Because when you have this this, this scenario where you have to buy a TLC to have a weapon, it just sounds ridiculous. Uh, I don't recommend them bringing out a loot box, and then, you know, all DLCs are free. I think that's just dumb. I think it should be mostly based on, if you want an outfit, there's going to be challenges towards it. Right, I, I feel I feel like that's what it's, it's really aimed for. That's um, th that's just my take on the the campaign, and then like what can make it even better. It's it, it's really about the customizations in, in these kind of games like these that we have now, like, like this one for example, like Zombie Army, and it, it should really focus on these weapons because that's what makes the game fun. Is the weapons, the snipers, the headshots, the the, the tactical shots, you know, the hard shots, the triple kills within a bullet, you know, and it, it just. It, it, it's stuff like that, you know. So when you when you have this limited, you know, um, limited gameplay, yeah, you're you're so limited. You're only you have these minimum of of what oh, I think it's like three snipers, four. No, I think it's like three, and then uh, four, you know, uh, secondary weapons, and then like three pistols. It's just like what? This this is shouldn't happen. This is way way. Nah, this is uh, I don't I just don't like it. I just I hate it. Absolutely hate it. Um, and then with the horde versions, I do love them. I do like how 
um, like right, right there, where I, you can just open a box, you get these new equipment, you go to another one, open another one again, and see what's inside. You see, they have these traps where you hit one, it might be like an airplane propeller, and then it will get like a bunch of them. So you get time, what you have good timing, and you get like a whole bunch of them in there, and then it, and it, that's all cool. And it, you can see there that that you know they have you drop these big mini guns and all these other things. It's so awesome, right? But I feel like we should be on a point where. There, there needs to be a standard of, of. There, there needs to be a better. How do I say this without really getting too aggressive? There needs to be a better. There needs, there needs to be a better platform because this is the only one that's actually that I like. The other ones, I believe there's like six or five of them, five maps you can play on. I, be, I believe there's six. I, or no, five, or five or six. But my concern with with horde versions, I mean, they're they're perfect. It's just they need more bigger, right? I just feel like we need to be. Opened, open, opened world, right? I, I just, I just want an opened little, little, you know, playground. This little sand castle. I want to, I want to have fun. I want to, I want to destroy stuff. Want more barrels, more explosives. We all, we all know that cool stuff. When we have the same spots with the barrels, when we have the same spots of the zombies with your spawn, it gets kind of tedious for me. It gets kind of boring. But so far, that's that's only that's only rising concerns I have for this game. Besides that, and the DLCs that you are coming for it, they're okay. But I feel like you should be free. But there's only concerns I have so far. So hope you guys uh, agree or disagree. Uh, leave me in the comments what y'all think. And uh, that's all I really have to say. So um, hope you guys enjoyed so far. And uh, I guess I'll see you later. Peace.